There tends to be a lot of problems when trying to log in to the AVID certification exams. It's because they rely on Flash to run and then also because they use pop-ups. Here's what the problem looks like. When you log on to take the exam, it would take you to the test landing page. But when you hit the button that says click here to take exam, it takes you to this page, which tells you that you're logged onto your exam, but you don't see your exam and it only allows you to check your test results. If you find yourself in this position, just close the window and log on to Avid again. Your test will still be there and it will still be activated. This occurs because flash and pop-ups are blocked in Google Chrome. So here's what to do to make sure that this doesn't happen to you. The first thing to do when taking the exam is go to your Avid Master account at account.avid.com. Log in. Scroll down to the bottom of the page. There's a square on the right side that says training. Hit the button that says take exam. Don't take the exam yet. What you want to do is just copy the URL from the test page. On a PC, in the upper right hand corner, there's three dots. This allows you to access the settings page. The first thing you need to adjust is flash. It should be in a state that says ask first. This little blue slider on the right side is where you would adjust this. For this exam, you need to make sure that Google is not blocking sites from running flash. Then you wanna scroll down to where it says pop-ups and redirects. Click the button that says add and then paste the website from the Digidesign test, training.digidesign.com. Hit add. Once you're done here, go back to the login page for the test. Click the login button. Takes you back to the landing page. Hit click here to begin exam. Click to enable Adobe Flash Player, then allow it. You know you've succeeded if it takes you to this screen on your test. Click the button that says proceed and then begin exam. And you shouldn't have any problems after that. Keep in mind you may want to reverse this process after you're done with the exam.